Ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of the MotoGP 23 Road to Glory Marquez series. That's a mouthful to say, I'm not gonna lie. Um, today we are back to France. Well, I don't know why I said back to France. Today we are at France, or Le Mans, whatever you want to call it, um, to do qualifying. And right now, we're third in the championship. We climbed our way. Uh, during the last race, we got a second in the sprint and then first in the actual race. And there were only 14 points behind uh, a Bezzecchi, which is amazing because it just means one or two good finishes. But like if we do good in the sprint and no race, we might either be first by the end of the episode. I'm surprised Bastanini is down in eight. He's, he's not doing well, but this is only the fourth race out of 14, or the fourth episode out of 14. Um, because this is a one season thing, so we better lock in every race, uh, to really just try win the championship, which is our whole goal here. But today we are racing in France, I'm super, super amped, I can't lie. I haven't, I haven't played or recorded this game in like Good two or three weeks. France. We're live at the historic Le Mans circuit. The first MotoGP class qualifying session is about to start and riders will be fighting for the last two places available in Q2. Hey, it feels good to be back here in the Honda engine roar, even though it's not you know, good. Like, this corner always you know, scares me. Off to a decent start, nothing crazy. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Woo! We're cooking in these corners. Went a bit off track there, but you know, whatever can you do, you know? I, I'm, I'm rusty, I haven't played in a while, and Le Mans never been, actually no, Le Mans decent track for me. I've gotten better over the years. It's better than Japan, ooh, don't you remind me of that. Absolutely painful. Painful. 131. Bro, that's the best I'm ever gonna do on this track. The director offering up the final Ooh, results we got the first. last riders enter pit lane. As a reminder, the top two riders have just qualified for second qualifying, which will start in a few minutes. Exactly what you said. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, he's gonna break a little early. From what I've learned. I've just got this long straight break early here as well. This corner is very... You want to get a good angle on this corner. Yeah, a lot of this literally just breaking early. <laughs> Because hard braking in low GP just makes no sense if you don't like overtaking. 132, I feel like I could have done better. The director offering up shots in. 131 point four is what I got, but that's not even close to what fucking Vinales got. What the fuck? Fine sessions on top. Yo, what? Now that the grid. I'm last. Oh god. I don't know how I'm gonna. We're on the starting grid where this kid just won't shut up. To start the sprint race. I don't know what I can do here. I know I'm so man. Oh, let's just go for it. Man, I thought I could do well on this. Look at that! 129. 
Still a few more moments and Bastini. Oh, let's go for it. Off the line. How are we so slow? What the? Oh my god. Kez, our brother's ahead of us. Might have to hang up the cowl here. It's so bad. Come on, this is gonna be a tough race. Just about get that, you know, he just take, overtakes us back. No, we're just gonna get him on straight. Dodge one binder. Ooh. Maybe okay, that's the corner that I mess up. That I mess up. See if we can overtake Binder here. Because I need to get as close as I can to Bizetchi. Right behind Binder, I think maybe we have the chance. We go to his, the inside of the corner. We just overtake him like it's nothing. I did say I have better brace pace. Go for the inside. Oh, we made contact. Maybe went out wide a bit. Maybe really made contact again. Trying to take his inside. Not working out. We're right behind him. Still right behind him. Oh, we can't get the overtake. Maybe? No. Oh, that's a way better exit. Oh, but we're gaining on the straight. We overtake him. We break the late. He's gonna get the dog. He got the quicker that. As the riders do their let's cool down laps, let's take a look at the final classification of the race we've just seen. Mmm, good result, good result. Starting from 15th, we'll work to 3rd. And we're ahead of Bas uh, Bisecchi, which means... Ah, uh, we're still 3rd in the championship, but back now it moves up like crazy. I've only moved up by 1 point to Bisecchi, that's so annoying. Well, we move up in the construct. Actually, no, we don't. I don't know why I'm on. Red Bull. I didn't even realize Red Bull was so high up there. Dude. Well, then it's Red Bull. Um, Bazzetti's got a carry. Oh, wow. They're only down by like three points. Jesus. How well? Let's go. It's us on the podium. Proud of myself. And the boys back at the back of the team, but Hello, that's not really the main to thing. All you bike fans, we're in France and broadcasting from Le Mans, one of the most iconic circuits in the world. In a few moments, we'll move to the main straight to watch the start of the MotoGP race. And I'm super excited to do so. So let's go. Let's move straight to the starting grid. There's very little time until the start of the race. Can literally feel the tension. 
The weather is clear and temperatures are far from extreme. However, tyre wear will play a very important factor in today's race. That's why lots of riders have been using medium tyres in the front and rear. Well, well, well. Let's get straight to it. We don't actually... I thought I had fuel on. Should we go like... Like that? We're down in 12. I'll just do what I did last time. It worked out well. We were gaining. Wait, I think I'm medium. I should have done that. The beast is ready to break away. Okay. Let's hope we get a better start. Better start. Oh. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so proud of myself. Let's go crash into Jorge Martino. What a start. What a start. No contact on Jorge Martino. I'm not gonna lie, he needs to get out of my way, cause yeah, he's bumped into him twice. Yeah, this one you can easily crash. Zechi is down in seven. Pagno is definitely gonna move up to first. Was there ever this? I felt like I was at one point. Maybe I wasn't. No, I don't think I was actually. I'm locked in. Locked and loaded. Still right behind Possession. Uh, Possession. Still right behind Jorge Martin here. Might be able to overtake him. That's probably. Get him on the inside of the long straight. Best overtaking corner. What an overtake on Jorge Martino. We'll move up just behind the Niales. It's very useful. This time I'm out for blood. And he's sent out to Bagnaya. Yeah. Looks like I'm finding all those. Ooh, we get so close to him. Please, let's overtake the Nyalas. Nah. We lost... Oh. Yes! 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 We did it! We're in the podium! Can we get Bastanini get second and get even closer to Bad Nine? Damn, we started off so well in that lap. I went for it, I went for it, wrong inside. Bad overtake. There's a bit of contact there. I do apologize to my boy. Oh, he takes me back, but I go... A little switch back on the inside. And we got the overtake done.
back at it. Bastini just right behind me. Ooh, that corner is so annoying sometimes. Swear down. But then I'm on my mama. Yeah, this track I thought was better, but I don't know. The AI is sometimes like insane. The qualifying is so much better than the actual race pace. Like I don't think it's that well balanced in this game. But compared to like F1, I feel like the AI like makes sense. This game like it will have like such a good qualifying, and then in the race they like so like I don't know, just like. So much easier. I don't know how to explain it, it's just like the race pace isn't as good as you would think. But anyways, that's a second place finish. Really proud of myself there. Well, we We've got a third and a second. To the park Ferme to meet the stars of the race. Let's take a quick look at the final Moto GP standings. Wow, I'm really. Whew. We got a quicker lap than actually a lot of these guys. Draw me with the quickest lap, which is really putting me to shame here. Been like over a second behind him. Wow, we move up, we move up. Bag and I just absolutely destroyed all of us. We still haven't even overtook Bizetri, which is insane. We're only two points behind him though. Which, oh, which is so annoying. If I were to, if I were to do it fast and eat, no. Back nine in the uh, sprint race would have been just so helpful. But yeah, moves us to fourth, the constructors. By one point, we're really carrying the team here, I'd say. Joan Mio, stop putting the fast laps and actually just like lock in. Please, it would help the team out a lot. Wow, what a race, what a race. What a race. This. Well, Here we are. The podium ceremony where there is an Italian flag flying from the top step. A very clean win in great style. Bagnaia beat his opponents with a clear victory today. There we are, second the Giga Chad. We are. Look how beautiful he looks. Ooh, ooh As I said, this only race four out of 14. It's going to be a long championship. Be a long battle with Bagnaya. Man, can I just say the KTM brothers are doing really well. I mean, they're not too behind Bas, too far behind Bassanini. I mean, they're quite far from us, but like two like bad finishes, and they 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 can get us. I'm not gonna lie here. Um, we are racing in Italy. Ooh, I love Italy. This is gonna be a good track. I'm just looking around. Ooh. Man. Some mech ones, but some decent ones. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the lackluster commentary. I'm not gonna lie, I've been suffering through like some stomach pain while you know racing here, so my mind is somewhere else. But I'm proud I did this uh, long race because it's been a while since I up uploaded one of these or recorded one of these, and I do I do enjoy them. It, I mean, it wasn't the absolute best racing, but you know I had pulled through, tried my best, and uh, yeah, enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Watch the other videos if you want. <laughs> you can see uh, where we finished off. And yeah, watch my F1 series, please, I beg. And my Demon Souls. Uh, bye.